Hi, this is Cardamama, and I'm going to show you a quick video on how you can weld letters and words together to make a solid shape that's easier to cut out and easier to place on a card or um, any kind of craft project, scrapbook layout, anything like that. So I'm going to start with a sentence that I typed out here. Santa is on his way, and he is. Um, and uh, so you can see it's all one sentence, and the font that I used, in case you're curious, is Unicorn. Now what I want to do is weld it together so that instead of having individual letters cut out, it's going to be all one word here and all one word. So I'm going to have five words. And I don't want to be fussy with having to glue back on the dots on the I or the uppercase S and trying to match that up with the word. I want everything to, to be like individual words. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you what happens when I click the weld button. So when I weld it, it takes any of the shapes that were overlapping and it makes them combine with the shape next to it. So you can see here the A and the Y were overlapping and they combined to make one shape. But the W itself wasn't touching. The dots obviously weren't touching and the uppercase S wasn't touching so it's a separate shape. But I want the I to the dot on the I to be connected and I want the W to be connected. So there's a few different ways that I can do that. So I'm going to undo. One way that you can do it is by on the text style uh, pane you can use the character spacing slider. So if I slide it over it's going to increase the spacing and if I slide it back to the left it's going to decrease the spacing. So I can decrease it until I see that the W is now touching the A. But it also moved all the other letters and I don't want them all to be that close together. So I'm going to return this back to 100% which is what it was and I'll show you a different way to connect the W to the AY. So let's re-weld and now I'm going to just zoom in and it's so easy. I'm just going to click on the W and click on the arrow keys on my keyboard and just move it over until it's touching or overlapping the A. Now I can just select both of those parts and then weld them together. So there's a little point up here. I'll show you in a moment how to get rid of that. The next thing I'm going to work on is the letter I and there's two of them so I want to see them both. Okay. So the way to do that is I just need something that allows the dot to connect to the eye. So I could move it down, but that's not the way I want it. I want it to appear like it is um, the letter I with a dot on top. So I'm just going to go to my rectangle tool and draw a small rectangle or square just below. And to make sure that it's centered, I'm just going to highlight the dot and the rectangle. Go to my align window and then align center. So it aligns the inside shape to the larger shape, okay? So I'm also going to take a copy of this. So copy, and then I'll paste this one up here. And then select the two, align them. And now I can do like I did with the W, just select all of these shapes together, weld and then all of sh these shapes together and weld. Okay, so that leaves us with the standalone S over here and the quick way to do that is to, it's similar to the way I got the dot on the eye connected to the eye, but what I'm going to do instead of drawing a rectangle is I'm going to borrow a piece from an existing uh, word on here. So what I'm going to do, actually do is use a tail at the end of the letter A here and, uh, and, and I'll show you how I do that. So I'm just going to take this Santa and I'm going to replicate it or duplicate it. You could copy and paste too. I'll just move it above, take the knife tool, and just cut a straight line. Now I can delete that don't need it anymore. Just take this little tail over here, place it where it looks kind of natural because it flows with the with the word and now highlight it all together and weld it. I'm perfect. 
And the only last thing I wanted to do is to fix this little point right here. And for that, I'm going to zoom right in so we can see it clearly. I'm going to point editing. Oops, select it first, then point edit. So this is the point that I want to remove. So I can either delete this one. Okay, and it goes down. Or let's undo that. And I can delete this one. And I think that looks more natural. So let's click off. That looks a little bit better. If you don't like it, you can play around with the shape of it. Let's delete that. And then I can bring this down a little bit. I can click the smooth button. Let's make it a curve. Smooth it out. I think that looks pretty perfect now. It still looks like a W. So, there you have it. All the words are all individual, separate elements. They're going to be easy to place on a card or a scrapbook layout. Alright, so any questions, drop me a line, send me a note, a comment, and uh, I'll answer you the best way I can. Thanks so much.